Welcome to Catch Edu, and today we are talking about WADA, Sir Craig Reedy, the president of WADA, and Shane Sutton. CoachEdu.net Like and subscribe for more. That's right. Shane Sutton has been in the news of late, as all of you know, talking about how athletes uh, especially those that he knows about that were part of the British Cycling's Marginal Gains Program, used therapeutic use exemption forms as simply as part of that Marginal Gains Program. And now Sir Craig Reedy, the brand new president of the World Anti-Doping Association, has come out and said that Shane Sutton's comments are both worrying and disappointing. But he didn't elaborate on exactly why these comments were worrying and disappointing. And so we can only extrapolate that they can be worrying and disappointing for one of two possible reasons. Firstly, either the president of the World Anti-Doping Association is so completely naive to believe that there won't be athletes that will be trying to game the, the, the system, trying to use a valid a valid, between inverted commas, doctor's certificate in order to be able to get a therapeutic use exemption form to get permission to use a performance enhancing substance. Because if you've got permission to use it, that is suddenly no longer a banned substance, you're fully entitled to be able to use it. So, is Craig Reedy, the president of the World Anti-Doping Association, so naive to believe that athletes will not be doing that? especially when if you have to take into account, for instance, athletes from some of the African countries winning one race, picking up one gold medal, will be enough to be able to generate that athlete more income than their collective family has generated for the past five generations. With the, so much of a huge upside, are you telling me that Craig Reedy of the World Anti-Doping Association doesn't believe that athletes, because at pro a professional level, sport is not a recreational activity anymore. Sport is a profession. It's a business. And there is there are huge sums of money available for those who produce superhuman performances. And in the vast majority of cases, superhuman performances need superhuman supplementation and if there's a system that the World Anti-Doping Association has set up to allow athletes to get hold of superhuman supplementation in a completely legal manner, obviously there are going to be a fairly large number of those that will do exactly that. That's the first item. The second item is, which is what I'm thinking is probably far more the case, is that Craig Reedy, the president of the World Anti-Doping Association, is uh, worried and disappointed at Shane Sutton's comments simply because they have now been put out into the public domain. And once they're in the public domain, it could mean that the public popularity for certain sporting codes may diminish. And if the popularity of the sporting codes diminish, that means that sponsorship and advertising revenue within those sports diminish, and which means those sporting codes now don't have as much money available to pay over to WADA every, se every single year. So which means that Craig Reedy's comments are more from the point of view he's um, worried and disappointed in Shane Sutton's comments because it might affect the amount of money that WADA will be making over the course of the next 12 months. And to my mind, that is far more likely a scenario. Nothing to do with whether or not athletes are gaining the system, just how much money will WADA be able to make over the coming year, uh, simply to be able to perpetuate the same system, sell the same delusion to the fans. That's my take on the matter personally. Post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button that's down there. And last but not least, least until the two of us meet again. Stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.